What's going on? You all know who it is. It's your boy Twix96, guys. I just did the differentials and all that good stuff. We had some players that really teared it up in the last uh, little bit of the season there. So I'm going to read them this off to you. So Gab or so we're going to do the deadline to finish. Gabrick at the deadline had 52. Finished with 76, 24 points differential. Well, he scored 24 points from the deadline on. Anisimov, uh, 36 at the deadline. Finished with 55, plus 19. Eliash 43 to 49. He didn't do so well at the ending there, but he did plus six. Johansson 40 to 48. He had eight. I'm just gonna read the rest off. Uh, Erickson had uh, 12. Uh, Tolusti had seven. Frolik had four. Kadri had 10. Morrow had six. Atkinson three. D'Agostini nine. And uh, Fro Forley had three. So um. We are starting the simulation, guys. Let's go. Let's do it right now. I want to get this done. So let's do round number one. You guys know goals six times simulation. As always, guys, we're facing the Edmonton Oilers. I haven't seen my team in simulation formation in a while since last playoff run. So right away, Cam Atkinson, give me that snapshot goal. Give me that one nothing lead. Thug money over these Edmonton Oilers. Let go, baby. Let go. 2-0, Patty Eliash, give us that veteran depth, baby. Give us that cup experience. So now that the Taylor Hall show is in, they bring this game to a one-goal game. Not too happy about that. But Gabrick, there we go, baby. That's a 76-point score we have here. And if we can win the cup, you're going to get your 8.5 mil, baby. 4-1, Artem and Isimov, finish it off, baby. 4-1 win. Nice job to start off the series. Show Edmonton that we got what it takes to bring the cup home to Columbus this year. We were that close last year, and we got snagged away from the Shy City Bulls. And you know what? We're not letting that happen to us again. We're going to sweep every single round, sweep the cup. We're going to go a perfect 16-0 through the playoffs. That's probably realistically not going to happen. Louis Erickson, three points. Artem and Isimov, good job. So let's go to game number two at home, still here in Columbus, Ohio, against the Edmonton Oilers. We are playing like mugs right now as three assists Louis Erickson. He's playing like a beast on that first one. What? I tanked the guy. Cool. Yeah. The rest like, what more? You're out of the game. I don't want this shit. Cool. I tanked. So we're, fa we're I facing. Tanked. I don't care. I tanked. Go him. fucking gear queer. Get lost. All right. So game number two. Here in Columbus, let's go sim game. Let's drop the beat. Let's go six times as always to the goal column. Let's see if we can get an early heat, early lead here on Edmonton. Come on on the power play. Nope, not happening. We're going to end this first period scoreless, 0-0. Zero, zero. Who's going to have the motivation going into the second? It looks like Edmonton's just piling shots on right now. Bob is holding this in there. As Louis Erickson is going to get the first one. Louis Erickson is going to have his fourth point of the playoffs in two games. Louis is playing like a beast. Can we hold on to the 1-0 lead? Halfway through the third period. Can Sergey Bob get the shutout? 3-2-1. Oh, Petrie is going to... Oh, my God. That stings like a mug. Edmonton ties up with 50 seconds left. Let's go, boys. We have 42 shots on net. Edmonton... Is not going to be just though the veteran Patty Eliash, two goals in two games, sweep it off to the side. Patty E is going to get us the game winning goal with 329 remaining, giving us the 2 to nothing series lead over the Edmonton Oilers, guys. It's easy as that. Finger roll to the net, easy layup. It's actually not that easy, guys. Edmonton, strong team. They made a nice little comeback at the end there. So in two games, Bob is letting two goals in. So the goals against the average is 1.0 right now. I like the way Bob's playing. Eliash is leading the way in goals. That's what veterans do. I mean, it would have been nice to have uh, Timu there. But you know what? Brandon Morrow came in. He's another veteran player. He's a little older. He's had some playoff experience in uh, Dallas. So that's why we brought him in. But then again, Timu has been playing so much. He's won cups with Anaheim. He's such a good player. And Nugent Hopkins is going to get on the board first for Edmonton on the power play. Backhand goal on Sergei Bobrovsky. But luckily, the fourth liner, D'Agostini, I mean, rip it up. Patty E, baby, three goals, three games. That's all I got to say, baby. Patrick Eliash, three goals in three games. And Gabrick, this is just like game number one. But Taylor Hall is actually going to score. This is a close one. 
as Cam Atkinson, that fourth line swag. I mean, that third line swag, actually, because Elias is on that line with Atkinson and Tulusti. I didn't even want to touch my lines. We got a good chemistry bond going together. Five, Dubinsky, uh, Dubnik, 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 and we win this one. It's over. 6 2 for us. Uh, Belanger is trying to give him something, but you know what? We're not taking any of that crap from Edmonton. Let's take that 3 0 series lead. My gosh. Patty Eliash, three games, four goals. I think it's four goals or five goals. Patty Eliash really showing us what veterans do in the NHL. Silence the haters. You know, he had a little rough finish there, plus he had six six points there to finish the uh, playoff or the regular season off. He's showing the haters what he does best. He reps in the playoffs, boys. He reps in the playoffs. Let's go. I'm hitting, I'm hitting X. I'm not going anywhere, but Whew. can a sweep happen here? Can we sweep Edmonton first round? First time they've been to the playoffs since they made the cup in 03. Or not 03, 06. What am I smoking? My gosh. This has been a crazy. Aliash, two goals, one assist. Atkinson, two points. Nugent Hopkins, two points. I like the way you're walking. If you're walking my way, I'm that Red Bull. Now let's fly away. Let's buy a place with all kinds of space. I'll let you be the. If we can score more than three goals a game, like I said, Bob's going to hold us in it. Bob's playing like a boss. Patrick Eliash, four goals in three games. Let's see Patty E finish off with uh, seven goals in four games. Give him the con Smythe, boys, because he was the best player on the team, except Bob is playing better. So let's finish Edmonton off here. Let's make this video a quick one. Let's finish Edmonton off at home here. Let's get this job done, boys. You know, this is what we do best is close series out. <laughs> yeah, we close series out good. Edmonton is an absolute desperation they got a shit ton of shots on the power play they are loading Bob Roski but Bob is holding us in the game look at this they are all over us right now and Bob is Toulouse is gonna get a goal Bob is gonna get the first start of the game if he keeps playing like this 30 saves heading into the third right away they're gonna get a power play and Nuge is not gonna make the mistake that was a four minute power play or no it was two and there's Eberle Man, they are all over us. They are just all over us. We are not going to win this game. It's over. We lose 2-1. So can Edmonton make the comeback, win three straight? I don't know. They got no vets. But, man, Bob was getting overloaded there in that third period. We can't really do much. Bob was getting overloaded. 40 shots. We only got 27. So, I mean, there was a huge differential. They were outplaying us for sure. No offense. Like I said, if we can score three goals a game, we win every game. Unless the other offense is absolute beast. So let's go, guys. Game number five. I thought the series was going to go to four. I mean, I thought we were going to sweep. But you know what? We're going home for five. And we want the crowd to see that we still got our playoff run in us. We still have a chance to make the cup happen here in Columbus. Two seasons in. Can we get it done? We have no draftees to come up. But, I mean, come on. For the win, Bob was the first star. That's why I like to see Bob. That's a shit I do like. Welcome to the Klondike. Patty E didn't wrap the goals that game, but I mean, Patty E's got to get a goal this game for us to get the win, I think. Patty E scores. We're going to win the cup, boys. Just kidding about that, but. Um, you know what? We're playing Deese right now. Deese, just Deese Hawks. I mean, they're playing garbage. They have no offense. I mean, the last couple of games. Whatever, but you know what? Six times drop it, goal column. Right away, who is this Harkening guy? Hard a cannon guy. A one nothing lead early for the Edmonton Oilers. I don't want to watch this because if we can blow this, if we blow this lead, I will be distraught. I'm just, I'm just cutting it off so I only see what happens to our team if we score a goal. I'm not even looking. Edmonton still hasn't scored though. I checked this quite briefly there. Edmonton cannot win this game one nothing. This is no man. There we go. Magnus PRV. Just like that, they're getting all the motivation on their side in this series. And we got James Wisniewski, so can we please just tie this game up? Come on, let's go Vets, let's go Vets. And they're going to beat us 2-1 again. That's two games in a row they beat us 2-1. I'm not too happy with this. If we lose this game, I will be rattled. We have not, we've scored two goals in two games, and they've scored four and two. So, I mean, guys, three goals, and we would have won this game. Three goals last game, we would have won this game. We're fucking around or something. We thought we had this, this series in the bag. If we end up losing this series, just saying. Gabrick's not staying here. Gabrick is—he's gone. Bob Roski's holding us in it. Actually, Bob got pulled or something. 
Who's that? Yeah, that's our backup goalie, I thought. So, yeah, just saying. We can keep fucking around if you want, but, I mean, if you like the way we're walking, if you're walking my way, they keep beating us 2-1. First team to get the job done with Minnesota, and then the Islanders. Let's do this, boys. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, 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 ole. Let's send these bitches home at home. I mean, they could just go to sleep after this game. Let's go, boys. Where's the pump up? Let's go. What's up? The home ice would help. Not happening. We're on the road here trying to shield the deal. Can we get an early goal? Oh my gosh, what a long power play. And Petrie, or Petrie, whatever his name is, scores. Gabrick, that's why we're going to sign him again next year. He's keeping us in this game. Let's go, boys. Where's the desperation? We've lost two in a row. We're playing like a bunch of girls. Let's get a goal, boys. I want to see us get a lead. We have not had a lead since game number four, three. So, I mean, Edmonton, there's PRV. Let's go, boys. Let's see a quick goal. Let's get a quick one back, eh? If they score another, it's over. That's all I'm saying. It's over. If they score one more, Edmonton's got this bad boy. 4-3-2-1. Edmonton wins the game. I'm officially pissed off. Officially pissed off because Edmonton has just won three straight on us. If we lose game... I'm going Dale Hunter, boys. Dale Hunter strategy. I know the chemistry is not going to be here, but then again... We're going to just do best lines for this game, and then we'll go back to our regular next round. This is absolute horse shit how we've lost. We've only scored three goals in three games. Absolute horse shit. What? Don't forget, okay? Yeah, okay! I knew it. Look, I knew it. All right. Edit lines. Let's go. Why do I just go to jersey numbers? I want to go to edit lines, yo. All right, we're doing best lines. See what our best lines bring us. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let go. Let go. First line's going to score, boys. That's all I'm saying. First line's going to score. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let go. Let go. So now, instead of a five-minute video, we're at 12 minutes. We've lost three straight games. All motivation is on the side of the Edmonton Oilers. We almost had this series, and now we don't have this series, so I'm kind of confused at what's happening. But you know what? Game number seven, this has been a long series, and all the series are going to seven or something? Like, what is this? Only well, two series is our, uh, all right, there we go. Boston moving on. Winnipeg, Vancouver, San Jose. So all these games are wrapping up. Can we move on? I don't want to do a 1-3-1 one, one like I did in Dallas, but... Oh, oh, Edmonton scored quick. And, alright, so time's running down, boys. Your season's on the line here, boys. You are playing like a bunch of pieces of shit. Four shots in the first period. And there we go, Tolusti. So, I mean, could the Dale Hunter strategy work out for us? Edmonton scores. This game is over, I guarantee it. I'm putting 50k, 50k subs on it. Yes! Gabrick, that's the first lead since game number three. Can we rep this shit to the win? Can we do it? Bob is holding us in. We are five minutes away from it. Erickson, we did it, boys. Take it over. We're headed to round two. We almost slipped up and lost that game. Oh, my gosh. I am pissed off about that. We almost slipped up up and lost that. If we lost that series, that would have been the biggest jokesters in NHL 13 history. We were up 3-0 and the EA engine fucked with us and we lost a lot. We scored one goal and they beat us 2-1, 2-1, and 4-3-1 I think. So, we're moving on. Thankfully, if we didn't get past that round, I would have been pissed. The Dale Hunter strategy is staying anyways. Let's go to round number two. We just eliminated the Edmonton Oilers in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs and then we're going to look, of course, at the, at the brackets. So I've earned my GM rep back up to four, cal uh, four cal I'll just say four calculators, four phones. Let's stop the sim. We're facing San Jose. Let's go look at what's happening here in the stats central as we head to the playoff tree. Let's see what's going on in the NHL. I think our AHL team didn't even make it. Yeah, I know they didn't make it. All right, so it's one, two, three, four in the west. We lost our home ice, but you know what? 
It's uh, 3578. Oh my gosh. So let's see what happened in the East, actually. Uh, Montreal gets. Montreal, number one seed Montreal loses to Boston in six. Number two seed loses to number seven in five. Uh, New York comes over Carolina in seven. Toronto loses to win. Wow, all, pretty much all the top seeds lost in that division, and all the bo uh, top seeds won in my division. Uh, no sweeps. 4 1 for Minnesota, 4 2 for oh, Chicago's out, baby. 4 2 for San Jose, 4 3 for me, and 4 2 for Vancouver over St. Louis. So, guys, next video, we'll be back around 2 San Jose Sharks. Let it go, baby. Let it go.